hello to all welcome to the channel geoguru in this video we are going to learn how we can download the satellite data directly into the qgis using the semi automatic classification plugin so for that we will go to the plugin manage and install plugin and we will search for scp that means semi automatic classification plugin this plugin is very uh, useful to download the data set, visualize the spectral profile and perform some classification techniques. So if you haven't installed this plugin, there is an option will be there like install plugin. So you just click on that and the plugin will be installed. And after the installation of the plugin, uh, in the menu bar, a name will be displayed over here that is SCP. So if you click on this, so all the things can be done. Uh, all these things can be done with the help of this plugin. So presently we are just focused in downloading products. So I'll just click on that. And there are in this window, window there are three tabs that is login data. So for example, if you want to download the log uh, Lancer data, so for that you need to have username and password from this website and you will uh, put it down here. And for download the modest data and extra data, you need to have a credential for this website and for Sentinel, you should have a credential of this site. So presently our uh, main focus is on Landsat data. So I'll just provide the username password for the USGS portal. Okay. And after giving the username and password, we'll go for the search. And in the search option, there are option for latitude and longitude. If uh, you know the latitude and longitude you can directly put over here and if you don't want to uh, give the latitude longitude you can uh, display the shape file or any other layer in your QGIS panel but presently I'm going to select my area uh, using the Google Maps and for that there is a plugin known as HCMGIS and to install this plugin you can go to the link description uh, described in the, uh, this video so I'll just click on base map, click on Google Maps. So I need to suppose download the image for New Delhi. I'll just focus on this particular area. Okay, and I'll go to the plugin. So there is an option known as create area that means set area and I'll just click on this and so on the suppose this is a square uh, for which this is the area for which you want to download the image. So first in the topmost left corner I'll just left click on this and on the opposite corner I'll just right click on this so we can see that a box has been plotted over here and the latitude longitude has been updated after that I just select the products for example we are just focusing on Landsat 8 OLLI and TIRS and we need to provide the date for example I need to download for 1st September 2020 to 11th November 2020 okay and we can also give the cloud cover so I'll just leave it as it is and uh, after uh, I just click on this find so if you have a net internet connection you will see this the five images has been displayed over here and these are the product name then we have product ID then we have cloud cover so these two images have a zero cloud cover we have a path, row, minimum light, minimum longitude, the size of this collection, that means the amount of megabytes or gigabytes is going to take. Then we can also preview the image before downloading, just like the USGS uh, portal. So if I just click on this, so we can visualize this image. Yes, this is no cloud cover is not there. And if I click on this, this is the fifth one. So there is a maximum amount of cloud cover. So before downloading, uh, I just want if uh, you just want to download only this image. So I need to delete all this four. So I'll just select the one row and by holding the shift button, I will select the last one. And there is an option like remove from the list, like delete row. Okay. And before downloading the product, there is an option known as download option in which uh, if you want to download for a specific band, you can select a specific band. Like I just want to download the band number two, three, four. Or if you want to want to download all the bands, you just select this and go to the search bar. And there are three options like only if the preview is available, pre-process image and load band in the QGIS. So I'll just uncheck this because if the surface reflectance images will not be there, the data will not be downloaded. So I just want to download the label one data. I'll uncheck this and click on run. As soon as I click on run, uh, it will be asked the folder. 
so I'll just select this so this folder is my empty so I just select the line set 8 select folder and after this uh, downloading progress bar will be displayed in your main QGIS panel so as you can see that it is a uh, each and every band not containing approximately 70 or 68 MB so it is downloading one by one mm, usually this line set 8 takes an amount of 2 GB so we have to wait for a while so what downloading has been completed a uh, sound will be uh, come if the download has been completed so all these bands are displayed over here so first we will check the folder so there is a folder that has been created under the name of lc08 and this is the complete id and these are all the bands and mtl file also downloaded so i'll just collapse this all and uh, So this is the BQA band, so this is no user for us. So this is the band 1, band 11, band 2, band 3, band 6. So we can also follow the same procedure for other satellite data like Landsat 7, 5 or Sentinel-2 data. Uh, if you like this video then hit the like button and share the video and if you like the content of this channel. And we also requested to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.